the manifester actually has two strategies in their life. They have a strategy as long as anyone has authority over them. That is the strategy of the manifester child. And the strategy of the manifester child is to ask permission. That is, this is the only way that the manifester child has a chance, is if they can learn to ask permission. It's very good training for them, and it also gives them that opportunity to be able to get their energy out. And of course, what I tell parents of manifester children is that in teaching them to ask permission, you cannot unreasonably deny them. You know, if your eight-year-old says to you that he wants to smoke crack cocaine, you can unreasonably deny them. You know, you can say, no, 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 you know. But I mean, if they, if they want to go out and ride their bicycle, you know, and you just say no because it's no, you know, that's something that kills them. It creates all this deep anger inside of them. So if they ask permission, they have to be reasonably denied, not unreasonably denied. But the moment that the manifester stops being the child, that is the moment it leaves its parents' home, that's the moment that the strategy of the manifester moves from permission, they will not ask anyone permission once they're in charge of their own life, ever again. They won't. And the moment that they become in charge of their own life, that's the moment that they must inform. Now what that means is that manifestors by their very nature have to be conditioned to realize that words and communication are the very, very important thing to them because it is the way in which they can reach out to others. Because the manifester cannot do anything other than inform, otherwise things don't work. Think about sexuality. The manifester simply does, by its design, what it can do. Now, if the manifester simply goes up to somebody that they're attracted to and grabs them, that person is not going to be excited by that. They're not going to like it, even if they were attracted to the person, because there's something inside of them that will bring a great deal of fear in that moment and resistance in that moment, because the manifester has not considered them at all. And at the deepest level, anybody that gets touched by a manifester in that way, at the deepest level, what they're saying is, oh boy, look out. I'm defenseless here. I have no control here. If the manifester is interested in somebody and wants somebody, they have to tell them. And they have to tell them at a distance, you know, with a certain aura space in between. They have to tell them first. They have to inform them first. Now think of the psychological dilemma sexually for the manifester. They're always the one, they're always the one that has to say it first. They're always the one that has to inform the other. Now of course that leads to all kinds of difficulties depending on your profile. Some people are very insecure. Some people are very paranoid. You know, some people it's easy, they're friendly. You know, it, it is going to be a variation depending on the profile, but the manifester is always in that role. They do not know, and here you can see under manifester, will I be answered? You know, the manifester goes up to somebody and says, you know, I'm really interested in you, you're this or that, or whatever the case may be. They really don't know what's going to come out of that. They don't. They have no idea. And they're always putting themselves in that position of being rejected. And if you reject a manifester, they get angry. You know, so the manifester is really attracted to you, comes up to you and says, you know, I'm really interested in you. And, say, and the person says, sorry, I'm not in you. And they go nuts. <laughs> they get really angry. And then they say, I'm never going to do that again. Next time I'm just going to take them. So the manifester has a difficult time sexually. They have a difficult time. Imagine the manifester teenager. How difficult that is. You know that they, they can't be the one that somebody else takes. If you're a manifester and somebody takes you, it'll never work. It'll never, ever work. You know, some projector slides up your leg and says, let me have this manifesting energy. It'll never work. It has to come from the manifester. That's what manifestors are about. It's the manifester that has to make it happen, and therefore the manifester has all the pressure. It's in the stereotypes that we live with gender-wise. 
in that sense, it's much easier for the manifester male because it fits into the archetype. You know, the male has to be forward and come forward and say, look, I'm interested in you. It's difficult for the manifesting female. It's difficult for them. Because, of course, they have to be the one that initiates it. They have to be the one that exposes their vulnerability. I mean, manifestors don't like to do that. But yet, when it comes to love, when it comes to sex, it's hard to avoid it. So once you can recognize as a manifestor, remember, this is a minority, it's only 8% of the population. Once manifestors can understand, there is no other way for them to find the right sexuality in their life. They must inform. If you're a manifester and you're interested in somebody, tell them. Tell them. You know, and if they're not interested in you, pfft, what to do? You know, but it's the only way it's going to work and it's the only way that they're going to allow you to get close enough to them. Because you see, until the manifester can show the other types that they truly are concerned for their well-being, and that's what informing is, you know, I'm informing you beforehand so you don't have to be nervous about me. I'm informing you beforehand so if I put my hand on you, you don't jump. You know, I'm informing you beforehand. And the moment that the manifester can do that, they eliminate the resistance field. It does not mean everybody says yes, obviously. It doesn't mean that. But what it does mean for the manifester is that they can live cleanly. And when the adult manifester informs, it means that they're going to be healthier beings. They're not going to have this level of anger inside of their body that slowly eats them up and kills them. They won't. And they're not going to be in situations in which their sexual life and their intimacy does not work for them. And this is so common amongst manifestors that it does not work for them because they have not learned how important it is for them to follow their strategy. The manifester that informs becomes a healthy being. And the manifester that informs can be clear in its relationships. Manifestors forever run out of relationships. They just run away. They can, after all. They can open the door with their bag packed and go. You know. But if they would inform before they would leave, they may not leave at all. You see, this is something that the manifester has to grasp. And that the only way it works is that you've got to follow your strategy. You follow the strategy of informing. It's going to change your life. This is the thing that's so amazing about type. It changes your life by giving you your life and getting rid of the not-self. It eliminates the conditioning. It's gone. It's gone. And it's a simple thing.